welcome everybody to stranded alien dawn now this game is like a base building game where if you guys have played i believe it's called uh rimworld i haven't played rimworld before but uh it is like 3d rimworld from what i heard right now i have played it quite a bit i believe and it's a very relaxing game and I really enjoy it so uh, I'm gonna have a playthrough of it let me just check them yeah I think all this stuff is fine ultra audio is fine Good camera shake camera shake I don't want camera shake auto save is fine okay so basically uh, the premise is like the premise is like uh, you and your uh, four team members I believe are crash landed on a planet and you have to survive uh, the alien fauna and flora I believe uh, the animals there some of them are aggressive and will attack you right so you have to kind of build your base survive uh, survive the uh, weather there is lightning storms there is heat waves there is uh, winter all that kind of stuff and then there's diseases so you have to survive all that and they have three biomes basically let's get started so they have three scenarios crash landing which we're gonna play right uh, while you are on route to the outer worlds, the passenger ship Alien Dawn suffers a catastrophic hyperdrive malfunction and starts breaking apart in orbit of an unknown planet. Up to four passengers reach one of the emergency landing pods. This is the story of their survival, right? Find a way back to civilization. So we have to build our base and then leave the planet. Trading post is like you are intentionally going to the planet. Uh, you are farming, collecting resources, and then you are trading it uh, to the outside world and at the end of the day you are buying the planet uh, the, that's the win condition and the military outpost is you six team members are dropped on uh, on the planet and there is something called uncivil relay you have to build and establish the communication basically so we're gonna go with crash landing uh, the region they have three regions right now uh, one is the sorbius it's like a grassy mountain plateau then they have the desertium is in the desert each one pos each one has a different climate conditions and different fauna and flora you know different animals in each one and the uh, plants and then you have the jungle one this is the latest one uh, tropical region covered with dense jungle swamps rivers and hot beaches right so we're gonna go with the salt to jungle one uh, and the moon is kind of like uh, your balancing system basically concordia means it's like a balance you know goddess of balance so if you select the moon you can basically this is like for the medium people like a normal difficulty uh, jason is like you will be attacked with more animals but uh, you will have more time to prepare and nyx is like a uh, goddess of night so you, you will be attacked in the night chaos is just chaos uh, anything is a mix of match so we'll go with chaos uh, game difficulty will will say hard so you begin with 80 scrap metals medium now I, for this one i don't particularly know if whether it's just the starting resources are different or there is some in-game difficulty changes like whether the animals will attack you more often or not but generally we can play on the hard is fine and the seed is like every time you start uh, a new game uh, you will be landed in a different position and a different seed basically so each time your playthrough might be different uh, what things are around you might be different so we will you can give your own seed so I've been playing around with it a bit and I think I I will go with this one that I've chosen right there is a reason why but let's just go along with it because Sometimes you don't find the food nearby and you might have to like very difficult start So you might have to kind of you know uh, Play around with it a bit, you know, so, which is fine uh, 
and the game rules is like uh, modifiers if you have a you start with four family four people but if you do big family you will uh, it's like increase the average number of survivors you can find by two eternal bliss it's like you have to take care of your uh, people's happiness so you you start with plus 50 happiness to all survivors right basically it's a permanent boost so generally when you start you will have a plus 50 happiness like initial happiness uh, because they survived but this one is like plus 50 happiness so if you don't take care of their happiness they can go berserk and you know do all kind of crazy stuff peace first is like you you don't get attacked by the animals random survivors uh, Basically, you will have the different people you can choose. I I, I, I don't like it. Uh, we will go with Lost Cause is like all your survival skills are zero and overqualified is 10. So, you know, pick and choose what you want. It's perfectly fine. Now, these are the our candidates. Like, these are the people that we can choose. Each one has a different skill and traits, right? So generally, you have combat, construction, cooking, crafting, farming, healing, intellect, and physical. Uh, so one thing you have to notice is like, uh, for example, uh, Annette is interested in cooking and crafting, right? So certain actions will allow you to gain XP. Uh, if the person is interested in it, uh, they will gain XP faster. And if they are indifferent to it, they will gain XP slower. Uh, basically, I think if I understand correctly, it's like you will gain twice as XP if you're interested and you will gain half as XP if you're indifferent. I may be wrong, but generally it's better to let them do the things they are interested in much more and they will also get happiness from it, right? And each one has a different uh, special traits like for example Hugo, it never fails taming attempts, so there is a taming system here also. So we can pick, uh, we can pick some people, so you have to be balancing your uh, people, like you, you have to make sure that uh, you can see the arrow so that's the highest level of skills among all your full survivors so let's choose so you need to do research so we will choose someone with a good intellect so i think simon has a good intellect so plus he has the trait like he is healthy he has plus 100 health recovers health twice as fast bleeding is permanently decreased by Five health per hour and movement speed is increased by 25 so he's a fast walker plus he has a good intellect and he can i think be very good in combat and he's interested in crafting that's a very important thing so simon is i think very good all around another one is noah so noah can't do intellect right so noah can't do any research but cannot experience meltdown or euphoria what this means is that uh she no matter how unhappy she has, she won't go berserk or do anything out of the ordinary. But so euphoria is if you are too happy, uh, if you are happy for a long time, you can get some permanent boost. So she can neither be meltdown or neither be euphoria, which is believe me, it's a good thing. <laughs> and she is a good healer, right? And she is good at combat. So we'll go with that. Uh, another one, we will need a farmer. So generally I like to do well, whoever is going to do the farming or crafting can do cooking also. So I go with Lara for farmer. Lara doesn't have any indifference or anything like that. But she has a 25% more movement speed and manipulation efficiency. And seeds and harvest plant high as far. So she's doing things very fast. You know, as you can see, you can see I am picking people who are very fast mover or something like uh, movement speed is increased right noah is also and then i will take queen so as you can see my construction level is low so queen is very good at construction uh, you can see five he's indifferent to combat but that's perfectly fine uh, just because they are indifferent doesn't mean they won't do it it's just they will gain xp lower slower um so we'll take queen so for this one is because you can unlock expedition later on the your playthrough and when you go through he 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 takes half of the time when you do the expedition basically you can create a hot oil balloon to go further and basically he's very good when it comes to exploration 
so I think that's all we go uh, go with and then let's start Pause for a minute. Let's take a look around. So now I ha I have look at uh, take a look at the seed before, so I know I have the basic necessity, but I didn't go particularly in depth into look around everywhere, right? So as as everything we are on an alien planet, so everything you have to observe to know what it is, right? And you can see like this is something like succulent, strange succulent. This is peculiar palm. There's a palm trees, right? This is tall palm tree, right? And this one bright leaf plant, right? And then there is this white leaf plant. So you, you have to observe all this. And another thing is first thing first uh, what we need to take care of is our food right and we have to build a camp uh, we have to build a camp so what I like to do is here you can control their schedule right so for now I'll give them some relaxed time before they start working uh, here can be anything for now but later I will give them some dedicated time to for sleeping uh, because initially I think I, I'll have to do some manual handling which is fine and then you can control the activities here so you can do a simple priorities or you can do advanced priorities I like to do advanced priorities uh, the priorities go from left to right and each one if you click on their portraits and go here you can see their each one's uh, particular stats right and you can also see it here like who's good at what like for heal example Lara has zero Noah has uh, five but for heal we'll give everyone one so if they get hurt the first priority is to heal right so handling handling is something like basically let's say uh, turning on the machine or putting something in the machine or uh, you know uh, moving stuff uh, moving stuff is delivered but handling is just like uh, basically uh, let's say you are cooking something right then uh, uh, after uh, after done cooking you need, you want to move it or something like that right so deliver that that comes in deliver but handling you can see uh, doing mundane tasks such as lighting up torches supplying fuel to devices and opening of windows rescuing burying carrying away dismantling handling loading part unloading part all those stuff so our construction will be queen so i'll give queen priority i'll give everyone three first so what i'll do is first i'll give everyone three like this i'll copy them paste 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 and then what i like to do is okay so handling is perfectly fine for construction as you can see that queen has the highest priority so we'll uh, highest level so we'll give queen the highest um, Simon is indifferent to it so I'll give it four so he, he, he will put it as a last priority right other people are fine for hunting I think uh, Noah is really good at hunting so I'll give hunting for Noah and Queen is indifferent so I'll give it four for harvesting Lara is gonna be our harvesting so two uh, cutting anybody can do it but I'll generally leave it to Noah uh, Noah basically can do cutting so Simon can also do cutting cutting is like a physical activity so that's fine uh, ranching probably Lara planting Lara scavenging I'll leave it to I'll leave it to Noah as well uh, if Noah is not doing it, then Queen. Uh, Simon. Simon. Uh, for now, I'll give it to Noah. Scavenge and mine. Cooking, I'll leave it to Simon. 
because Simon will be uh, doing uh, uh, research so he will be close by so I'll leave uh, cooking to Simon crafting will be obviously Simon Taylor assemble uh, for now uh, for now crafting we will do later but whatever it's fine so observations and research Simon will do it deliver we will leave it as it is okay so for crafting I will choose and pick who can do it because crafting is something we will have to handle it on hand so now that we done this so first thing first we need to do is find some food so we will observe this one so one of the people will go and observe so this squash like plant will observe and then we'll observe this tall leafy plant and we will scavenge this and I think we will need to let's cut cut this and sorry just give me a second I think we will need and then we will observe this a, su a strange succulent and we will observe this bright leaf plant okay uh, I need to think about this purple leaf I not I, I will need this purple leaf uh, so what I can do is let me see if there is one nearby doesn't seem like it huh we have some grass so let's do one thing let's cut some of this grass and we'll observe this and we will definitely need let me see what was it I saw it somewhere here right here we will observe this uh, there are some plant uh, leaves here sorry just give me a second There is some here and there is some here which is fine uh, but we will need some sticks uh, it's okay we can cut down some uh, trees and we can make some sticks let's start it oh wow uh, you can you can control the speed here one two three so let's let's speed things up wow 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 will cut Noah can cut right didn't I ask them to cut something okay that's fine uh, let's observe this as well and we will cut down some of the wood let's, uh, Noah will cut down some of the wood so there's some rock here some strange succulent here so we got some uh, we got some <coughs> so we need bed that's nice okay we got some buttermelon so harvesting of buttermelon so we can act, we can take this as a food 
but we need to make some camp so we need some sticks now where can I get some sticks I don't see any sticks. I think I will need to... Let me check here. If there is any way to get some sticks. Purple leaves. The purple leaves should give us some t t sticks, but you know. Oh, this is out of reach. This is already out of reach. We are outside of map. Okay. Wow. I did not think that the sticks would be hard to come by. Which is fine, I guess. We can just, uh... Okay, so what we can do is... Chopping block. We can make a chopping block. Let's make a chopping block here, I guess. Simon is observing the bright leaf plant. So, we can plant some buttermelons. So, I think... So, another thing is, you have to check like, plant it in... Based on the soil, you can plant in a loam or soil, right? So, if you plant it in the seed, you only get 75% uh, growth rate. If you plant it in the loam, then it's 100% growth rate, right? So, it's better if you plant it in a loam. So, I think we have some loam here, right? It's a good, this is a good place. So, what we can do is... Now let's plant... I am not sure, I should plant... Okay, fine. We'll just plant it here. One, two, three, four. Let's plant... Eight by four should be fine. Yeah, eight by four is fine. Uh, queen, you do construct, right? Yeah, he's constructing. And we will say we need, let's say, 20. So, queen. Okay, he's with chopsticks, right? Okay, good. Noah, you do that later. Yeah, so Noah can, he can chopsticks and then we can make a shelter, I believe. Uh, we need to cut some hay, right? So here we can cut some hay to get some. Yeah. All right, cloth blossom. So the cloth blossom will be very important. So let's make some. Four. 
320. This will also be 320. For now, I think 320 is fine. So Lara can plant. We can get some buttermelons out of them. So sausage palm. We can get some. We can get some uh, palm meat out of it, basically. Okay, so now we can make some camp. So what we'll do is, let's say... Uh, where do we want to make it? I guess here would be fine. We can like make it like this. Right? And then I'll think about like where I want to go with my, my base. If I put my base against this wall, then... But it, the terrain is really uneven. So... Let's go... Yeah, let's put it like this here for now. One, two... Let's put a bed. One, two, one, two... Uh, we have a gun, so... Noah, you take the gun, please. Alright. And then we have insufficient storage space, right? So, that's perfectly fine. What we'll do is... Uh, so, we need to make a camp. So, let's do campfire. So, they can get warm. Then we make a furniture for eating. Alright. And then we'll do... We'll make some sticks camp. Like this. Uh, we will make research desk like this. We'll make a uh, cooking stove like this. We'll make a uh, workbench. We'll make a workbench like this. Okay. And then we need storage. So what we'll do is we'll make some storage shelter. So we'll put one here, one here, another here, another here. Okay. Trying to keep it very minimized. Uh, we'll put a dartboard here. Okay. And we will put a shooting target. Not so far, I guess. Here is fine, right? Shooting target. Okay, two shooting targets here and then we'll do some defense we are trying to keep it very close tight for now we don't want to go overboard because this is just temporary and we'll give some space here instead we want to expand our okay so let's do like this Okay, and then we'll do some trap defense. Okay, and then we'll do. Okay, and then we need some stockpile. The stockpile will be having. So, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So, what I like to do. Stock files should only have construction materials. Uh, later what I'll do is I'll have the proper construction material. Each one has a different uh, each one will have different storage thing. Okay. Uh, I will separate it out. Uh, select all and I will remove apparels 
weapons and tools from here the same thing here because we can create a storage for those things here okay so now this will give me an idea I will need 100 hay 105 sticks and 47 uh, wood so for the wood we have lots of wood actually this is all wood so I can actually cut down the tall palm tree and I can ask queen to chop also uh, queen you cut also So Simon will focus on observation and Lara will do Oh Lara can Lara is doing construction. Oh, which is fine, yeah, because she's focusing here, right? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say Simon you cook right okay so as long as they build this uh, let me move this to here I suppose they can chop it here grain cob so let's let's plant some grain so we have sausage palm but we don't need it because all of this is sausage palm all this stuff is sausage palm so we have food for days no worries but we will plant the grain cob so this will be our grain so this will give us 400 grain cobs uh, five six hundred I like to go around 700 so this will be fine uh, cure plant is very important because this will give us antibiotics so what we will do is we will ask them to this is the cure plant right harvest so we will have some antibiotics uh, where is the because you will get disease in this weather basically um, And another thing is where is the antibi uh, okay so let's plant some cure plant also not edible because we will need it so for cure plant I think you need like a clay soil so you can see here right uh, yeah this one is really good for it but you know trying to find a really good uh, this this place is really good for pure plants I'm seeing if there is a better one okay here it should be fine right no let me pure plant I think here like it's a really small patch Actually, this is all fine, but obstructed SS. This one would be fine, but it's a bit far away. The only other thing I can find is this part or this part. Yeah, this part here. So we can. We can plant it here and we can extend another one like this yeah and we can observe this one as well glowing tree uh, I forgot to add the fence door so let's add some fence door so we'll add one fence door here one fence door here one fence door here 
Okay. So I still need more chopping blocks, right? Who is doing the chopping? Uh, let's add more. Okay, nice. So we can have veggie soups. How much veggie we got? Just 10, right? So let's harvest. We don't have any cloth blossom, so we can have some cloth blossom sausage farm. Formal technology research. So let's let's harvest some sausage farms. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I can get. Okay, this one should be enough. We can we can have some meat veg basically. If I understand correctly. Uh, we will observe tall palm tree also. And for the first. For the first episode, I think we can wrap things up here. And now that the, we have the wooden research desk, we have unlocked our research part. And I think the first thing we need to do is research lightning rod. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye bye.